if you can uh, uh, sure. brief can tell me about difference between csm and safe okay perfect uh, yeah perfect now there are two things uh, uh, any anyone want to talk about the difference between scrum and safe before i share my idea I give a group an opportunity. Yeah, go ahead. That was my question too, actually. So, okay. Uh, so we have a two participants uh, interested in this topic. Okay. Now, the way we do Scrum, it is primarily a small framework guidance about how to do quick inspect and adapt in a smaller space. Now, I usually give this example. Uh, and uh, in some context, it might uh, fits well. In some context, you can see a little more detail. Say, if I want to open up a restaurant, new restaurant, you know, I have never done food business. Yeah, what should I do? And, and what are my concerns? I may not know what to cook, what should be the menu, uh, how to get vegetables, how to get so many things, and how to price my items. I have so much uncertainty in it. So initially, I need a very quick inspect and adapt, and I want to do small things. And that's a good place to do Scrum. You know, you, you pick up an idea, you, you make for a two weeks, you experiment few things, you experiment few recipe, you experiment few menu items, experiment some price. If it works, it's good. If it doesn't work, you change. And you keep doing that, inspect and adapt. Yeah, you run that particular thing. Now, assuming after say six months, things are stable now, your restaurant is working good. And now you start thinking, how do I take this success and make say 20 restaurant out of it yeah and how we scale it now that part is a scale that i yeah now the problem and issues are different here now you are focusing on how do i bring alignment between all the 10, 10 restaurants how do i ensure that we can give a same taste same quality food across the board how can I ensure that we remain competitive and, and keep competing with the new entrant as well? And I want to have a proper alignment between these 10 restaurants and my strategy. I think there was a glitch in between. So, I, uh, uh, so when I want to take this one restaurant to a 10 restaurant, I need to start thinking of, of safe. Now, how does it uh, uh, different? The scale the child framework gives you uh, explicit processes, roles, to make multiple agile teams together as a one big agile release train. So that's the one segment which we call essential safe. And the scale agile framework also comes up with uh, 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 approaches guidance about how do you align business strategy with execution. We have a lean portfolio management view so that it, it helps us in, in identifying what are the new initiative and how do I align them so that execution remain in the in the space. So overall, the scaled agile with the version five is targeting towards business agility. It is saying, if you use safe, I make your company agile, not only the development team agile. And when I say I make your company agile, it means how can you as an organization change your strategy fast? How can you, or you, as an organization, you ensure whatever change I'm making in the strategy get executed and I provide the complete framework uh, towards that. So that's that's the, the market segment and, and, and niche of, of scaled agile. Yeah. So makes multiple agile and scrum, agile, uh, scrum team, agile teams work together for a larger solution and also uh, ensure alignment between strategy and, and execution. Yeah. So top level, that's the, the, the difference. Now, as a carrier, how should I take it forward? I have been doing project management. I am doing Scrum. Can I do directly safe and all? Now, many of the scaled agile implementations are also happening direct waterfallish or some sort of agile to safe directly. So it's not like you have Scrum teams and then only you are coming to safe. Many large organizations are finding the scaled agile framework provides them little elaborated guidance, which they were always looking for. And they are directly jumping into uh, uh, a scale agile implementation. Uh, various agile uh, survey organizations do surveys on, on an annual basis. And most of these surveying organizations are showing scaled agile as a leading uh, uh, scaling framework uh, year on year in their uh, segment. Okay, any specific question now? I stop here. Can't hear. Maybe we use chat box. Yeah. Good. So uh, as a carrier scope, I would say that if you have an experience of working in a large integration projects and maybe with Agile, without Agile, that's not that much uh, 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 considering because many of the organization, as I said, may directly jump to safe. So knowing safe and experimenting around safe 
might be a good idea in that case. Uh, one last question from me. Uh, do we uh, have to wait like a couple of months to a year uh, for advanced Scrum Master's training? No, no, no. These all training organizations don't want you to lose. So they are ready, you know, they are ready for the <laughs> next month only, next day only. Okay, so this is how it works. So now uh, uh, between CSM and ACSM, there is no need to have a mandatory gap. You One can do just the next day. The only thing which is recommended is you need to have a one year, uh, one year of experience working as a, a role in the Scrum Master. But that experience could be before doing CSM. So it could be just direct. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Great. Now, another question is, is advanced Scrum Master and safe is same? The answer is no. Yeah, so advanced Scrum Master is a Scrum Alliance product. It's a PepsiCo product and scaled agile is a scaled agile product. It's a Coca-Cola product. Yes, and, and they, they are having little uh, difference in, the, in the, the space as well. So one is that there is a completely different branding and uh, 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 the advanced CSM primarily from a content point of view focuses more on making you aware the role of a scrum master teaches you how to facilitate scrum events and all so that's the the, the role of, of an advanced scrum master now when you talk about safe we are generally talking about what is scaled agile framework we have not yet started talking about which particular certificate of safe so when you think of a safe the first thing you need to do is you need to identify which certification program i want to learn yeah so each certification program has its own uh, part just to know how safe operates and you are not clear what role I will play in the SAFE uh, 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 program, but I want to be ready with the with understanding of SAFE. If that is your goal, then they have a most popular certificate, which, which sells the most in, in Scaled Agile called Leading SAFE with a SAFE Agilist certificate. So that is something one can explore if they see uh, that, okay, I want to explore more on SAFE and, and go forward. Now, before doing that, I do uh, encourage you to check some of my videos on SAFE. If you just write Scaled Agile Framework, you will find some of the videos on YouTube. There are many of mine and there are others also. So get a familiarity. Uh, and, and Scaled Agile Framework is a free framework. Uh, so you can visit scaledagileframework.com. The complete framework is available to you. The only issue is that it's not that easy to navigate if you don't have an awareness that what it is. Uh, so it may take some time. So you may watch videos, browse the framework and then decide, is this something which can help you? Is this knowledge and credential can help you in growing in your profile? If the answer is yes, then go for safe certification. Maybe start with the leading safe.